the time has come. Grammy nominations. Uh, Grammy Academy finally published the nominations list uh, and uh, I'm really happy and I'm really excited. Uh, yes, every year, you know, when we uh, watch Grammys, we sort of get upset with the results. Last year, though, was different for me. I, uh, I'm i really happy with the fact that Childish Gambino got all the praise he deserves with This Is America. Um, you know, Casey Musgraves was not a bad choice for the best album of the year. Best best rap album yes there are some questions around cardi b um you know mac miller and travis scott being other choices but you know last year was pretty much great honestly i i had a lot of fun uh, watching the grammys it was a, a worthy show the performances were great so i'm hoping that we can keep the streak at least two in a row um being happy about grammys at least for me i was happy again as i'm saying the reason why I, f I feel like we are watching this ceremony with this contest pretty much right because we care about our artists we care about artists we listen to all year and we care about our tastes as well what are we listening to like will the academy praise our choices our picks for us you know like oh like for example ariana grande like, let's say for me ariana grande deserves the artist of the year nomination I, th I don't think there's an artist of the year nomination in the grammy but let's just say I, I would i would go for ariana grande personally because she had a killer year but um you know what i'm saying like is my taste gonna match with uh, the taste of the grammys and you feel kind of better about yourself you know a little bit i'm also interested you know in this day and age where uh, a lot of popular songs like viral songs you know they, they get like more than 100 million views easily nowadays like even like songs that everybody forget will forget in like uh, half a year anyway uh, but like those uh, unmemorable songs even like they get so popular and uh, I'm just trying to say that people are listening to their own thing nowadays it it's not an age where you know everybody listens to Michael Jackson or everybody listens to the Beatles you know or Queen there is no uh, there is not that unity anymore when it comes to uh, music listening so i'm just wondering how like how grammy sees what is popular nowadays and what is worth um you know gi giving awards to so yeah so let's just no don't waste one more time i'm excited uh grammys let's not expect much i know there will be snubs but let's just not expect much we know that Brock Hampton's uh, Ginger not gonna be nominated anyway, or John Bellin's Glory Sound Prep. How much I would love to be the, uh, nominated, but it wouldn't be. So let's just not expect much. Uh, know what sh what show this is anyway. So <laughs> let's just know it, acknowledge it, accept it, and dive in. All right, record of the year. We're gonna start with that. Bonnie Iver. Bon Iver, hey ma, okay, Bon Iver's record, uh, I've heard it, it's, it's pretty good, uh, not my favorites or anything like that, but okay, I mean, decent choice, uh, Bon Iver getting a, you know, spotlight like that, uh, this guy deserves it, he, this guy is amazing, um, bad guy Billie Eilish, yes, that, that was expected, expected seven rings, uh, amazing song, Ariana Grande, thank you. Hard Place by her again, her. Then a second year in a row, she's getting a, you know, record of the year or album of the year nomination. Uh, okay, I actually not, I don't really follow her stuff that much, but um, okay. Uh, talk by her. Come on. Talk by Khalid, are you serious, my man? Are you serious right there? I mean, it's not a bad song or anything, but Khalid, talk. Fine, fine, I guess. I mean, okay, it was a popular song and I don't even like, I don't hate it or anything like that. I, I It's a hit or miss when it comes to Khalid to me, but a talk, okay, fine, fine. Only good thing about this track is Disclosure is producing this <laughs> song. I'm happy for Disclosure, <laughs> to be honest. Old Town Road, here we go. Lil Nas X featuring Billy Ray Cyrus. Amazing, amazing. Uh, wouldn't be mad if Old Town Road won. Uh, Truth Hurts is here. Okay, awesome. And Sunflower. How many nominations for one single thing? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight nominations. Okay. Good picks. Honestly, good picks. Even Sunflower, although, like, you know, not, not a uh, fan of that song. Um, but I, I understand why it's here. Album of the Year. Let's see. Or oh, James James Blake. Ah, 
James Blake. One of the, uh, songs with Rosalia or Travis Scott. I mean, I mean, there were there were a lot of great music this year. You know, Tyler, Tyler the Creator's uh, Earthquake is not the record of the year. I mean, come on, um, album of the year. All right, Bon Iver, I I. Okay, Bon Iver getting a lot of praise. All right, we got it now. Uh, Lana Del Rey, Norman fucking Rockwell, are you serious, my man? There are people who enjoy Lana Del Rey. I enjoy Lana Del Rey's music in a little doses. I can tolerate that and actually enjoy it in a little doses. I like songs like Lust for Life or Ariana's Ariana Grande's collab or my, with Miley Cyrus, uh, Don't Call Me Angel, or, you know, there are songs here and there, of course, but I mean, I was, I tried to react to this album I stopped in the middle. I couldn't finish this album. I just didn't want to like, uh, you know, show you guys my negative reaction because I know how, you know, a lot of people actually love this album. But I just didn't want to be that guy who like, oh, like I don't like this. But I don't like this album. Honestly, I don't. I don't like it. Doing time, the single, great, fantastic, one of my favorite songs of the year. But um, yeah. When we fall, fall <laughs> When we all fall asleep, where do we go? By Billie Eilish. Deserved, yes. Uh, thank you, next by Ariana Grande, of course. Uh, my favorite pick, to be honest, out of this uh, list. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> I used to know her by her. Lil Nas X7. Damn. Okay, I mean, that's, I mean, it, it, it is a good tape, but damn. Seriously. Already. The guy is like, it's his first year. And he's already on, on the um, album of the year list, damn. Cause I love you by Lizzo, okay. Okay, okay. Um, I'm happy for Lizzo, really happy for her. She deserves um, all the uh, love she's getting right now. She, she was really working hard all these years. Before she got out of nowhere, she was working a lot to get here. And I remember, you know, hearing good as hell back in 2016 nobody listened to it it seemed like i was the one who enjoyed that song uh now like good as hell is a like a trendy single after three years you know what i'm saying like she was working a lot uh, to get to this place so i appreciate the grind and vampire weekend father of the bride okay interesting choice i mean i haven't fully listened to this album but i like some songs from vampire weekend father of the bride okay um damn if i will start thinking about the albums that are not here i will definitely will start to criticize and like find negative um aspects of this list but let's just move on um song of the year how they can <sighs> really <sighs> lady gaga again i mean like i mean i love lady gaga but stop just putting her Anywhere you can put her, you know what I'm saying? Like, always remember us this way, song of the year. Did anybody listen to this song? Like, uh, okay, yes, in the buzz of Star is Born soundtrack. But like, that was like two years ago. Come on, <laughs> like, why is it still here? I, I think this song was nominated last year, <laughs> wasn't it? I mean, Star is Born was nominated last year. Why for the song from Star is Born again here? I don't understand it. It was last year. All right, Bad Guy by Billie Eilish. Uh, Bring My Flowers Now by Brandy Carlisle again. Um, like last year, she's nominated too. Bring My Flowers Now, I don't remember this song, to be honest. Song of the Year again, uh, Bring My Flowers Now, Brandy Carlisle. Hard Place again, her, fine. I actually don't know how this song sounds like, to be honest. Uh, Lover, okay, okay, fine. I'm not, I'm, I'm not hating on this song, because it is a good song. Uh, Norman fucking Rockwell, as a song, not doing time. Okay. Um, someone you loved. Louis Capaldi. Okay. Um, fine. Truth hurts. Lizzo. Let me let me actually go for like my favorites. Uh, who I want to win. Record or year. Um, Seven Rings for me personally. Or Old Town Road. I'll take two. Even Truth hurts. Like. I will be fine with Truth Hurts, but Old Town Road and Seven Rings are my favorites. Bad Guy, wouldn't I would be happy for Billy too, but I mean, I prefer Seven Rings and Old Town Road more, even though Bad Guy actually, as a song, like, 
I think it's a superior song out of them all because Bad Guy, the way it's structured, it's a really unique song. It, like you don't hear songs like that. Uh, Seven Rings is just a like generic trap uh, song, you know. And Old Town Road, it is a unique song. It is a fusion of country and rap, but. Uh, I think Bad Guy is a superior song, but I would love Old Town Road and Seven Rings to Win because I just like those songs a little bit more. I was just enjoying them more, listening to them more. But yeah, uh, Album of the Year, Thank You Next for me. Definitely, like, no question. Thank You Next or uh, I will take When We All Fall Asleep. Where do we go? For sure. But Thank You Next is just like my absolute favorite. Uh, will not take any other options though. Only these two. If other uh, is picked, uh, I'm gonna be disappointed, to be honest. And no rap album? Hold on, no rap album on this. No rap album on album of the year. I just realized, no album of the, no rap album of the year? How? Rap music is the best genre right now. It's the most popular genre in the earth. And no album. Why they're hitting on rap like that? They they snub every time they snub rap albums. Uh, like they don't give album of the year to a rap album. I just don't get it. Kendrick didn't win it with Two Pimp a Butterfly. You know who won Taylor Swift, of course. Although it is a good album, 1989. But damn, like Kendrick should have won. Like other occasions like that too. I, no words, no words. Okay. I told you, like. Our expectations is our problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can uh, listen to one thing and think, oh, this is so amazing. This should be acknowledged by Grammy. And it's not then. Uh, but it's just like, you know, our taste is our taste. Their taste is their taste. What are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? Uh, they think this is the best list for them. Uh, the, so, whatever. Song of the Year, though... Um, Bad guy, yeah, bad guy actually, yes. Bad guy all the way. Truth hurts, second choice. But bad guy, third choice, lover, I, I wouldn't mind it that much. But I think, you know, Taylor already had her Grammys. Billy and Truth, uh, uh, Lizzo as, you know, getting first Grammy nominations even, like, uh, I would love them to win. One of the uh, choices. Best new artist. Uh, Billie Eilish still best as the best new artist. Oh, I remember like last year I was thinking why she's not uh, on best new artist list and then finally here she got recognized. All right, Billie Eilish, Lil Nas X, Lizzo, Rosalia is in here. Rosalia just won album of the year in Latin Grammy. And by the way, the hosts are fire over there. Ricky Martin, Rosaline Sanchez. I mean, like, <laughs> this is amazing. You know, thank the, uh, the, the hosts. And I th I, the third one, the third person, I, I forgot, it also was an amazing choice as a you know, host of the party. But um, yeah, Rosalia is in here. I mean, I thought she, they, they're not going to include Rosalia. Then if you're including Rosalia as the best new artist, then what is fucking El Mal Querer? <laughs> or where is fucking, uh, you know, any single from Rosalia that dropped, Con Altura, for example. Like, where is that then? Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I'm glad. I mean, if Rosalia is going to win, that would be amazing. But I'm, I doubt that she's going to win. Um, American Grammy Awards. Like, she already got tons of Latin awards. It's fine. Um, here, uh, I think Billie Eilish is going to win. Like, 100%. 100% Billie Eilish. I don't think anybody else is going to win. Although Lil Nas and Lizzo, of course, strong uh, choices as well. I don't know who Maggie, Maggie Rogers is or Tank and the Bangus, Yola, Black Pumas. I, I actually don't know. I, I gotta go through this quickly, huh? Like, just spend five more minutes and that's it. Pop. Best pop solo. Uh, seven Rings. Uh, best pop duo group performance. Boyfriend isn't here? I mean, I like the song, but shit. Soccer. Soccer all the way and Senorita by the way I was thinking Senorita should have been at least on like song of the year it wasn't it wasn't which is really odd but it's at least it's here but damn it is really odd I mean Senorita is a, is probably a best collab because I mean it's a nomination for best collab I mean, I wouldn't mind if Senorita will win but Soccer I just love Soccer 
and uh, Old Town Road probably is gonna win because it's the most popular song, and I wouldn't mind it again. Like Old Town Road is my favorite song of the year, uh, but uh, Soccer, um, you know, it's up there too. So I love Soccer a lot. I wouldn't mind them getting some praise. Uh, best pop vocal album, The Lion King, The Gift. Ah, some of them, some of these lists are. Some of these nominations are like, this shouldn't be here. Why Lion King is here? I understand some songs were good, but damn. When we all fall asleep, where do we go? Definitely, thank you, next. Definitely, uh, fine, fine. Number, <laughs> number six, collaborators project, fine. I loved the project at the beginning, but then it got old really fast um, by its Uh And lower Taylor Swift, okay. Uh, wouldn't mind any of them winning, except Beyonce, just, they, they really pretty much included Beyonce just because of her name. That's all. Uh, but uh, Billy or Ariana, all the way, all the way for me again, as I'm saying. Uh, Ed Sheeran already won Grammys uh, for um, Divide, so I mean, the dude can rest. Uh, best dance electronic album, uh, The Chemical Brothers. Hi, this is Flume, all the way, all the way, Flume, uh, no question. Uh, okay, rock. Not my sp uh, specialization. Tool is in here, okay. Best rock song. I I don't know. I don't know. Vampire Weekend is in here. Um, Cage the Elephant is in here. Damn, okay. Turn of James Blake is in here. I assume form. Okay. R&B. R&B. Love Again by Daniel Caesar and Brandy. Awesome. Could have been by her. But it's a good song, actually. Good song. Exactly how I feel? No. This song is... Okay, this song is not that bad at all, but I don't think it's like a best R&B performance. Uh, come home! Yes, yes, yes! Anderson's getting some love! Finally some worthy artist! <laughs> Anderson Fuck is in here! Okay! <laughs> and Anderson Fuck all the way, although Daniel Caesar, I love Daniel Caesar as well, so... But he already got his Grammy. Uh, I don't remember Anderson Fuck getting his Grammy at all. He was nominated though, for sure. I don't remember him getting it though. So, Anderson or Daniel, for sure. Uh, Lizzo is getting love, a lot of love. No guidance, best enemy. Where's rap? Already. No guidance should win here on our song, for sure. Uh, Lizzo. Oh, JC Race is here. Best R&B, Ventura, all the way, by Anderson Puck. Uh, LMA's album, wasn't it last year nominated? Uh, they, they don't listen to much music, they just nominate second time in a row. Now, honestly, like second year in a row, LMA was last year as well. I, re I remember Buddha for sure being nominated. LMA's project was there. I'm gu I guarantee you, they just forgot. How is it still here? I don't understand it. They just don't listen to enough music. Best rap performance, Middle Child. Okay, the baby. <laughs> Down. Okay, Nipsey. Is this a fucking joke? Is this a fucking joke? What is this list? What is this list? Where are the people? Where are the Tyler's? Where are Tyler's? and Travis's, and Drake's, and Post's. Where are these people? Where are they? Where is it? Okay, at least J. Cole is in here, but damn, J. Cole is in here two times. And Down Bad is a good song, actually. I mean, Rex in the Middle, wasn't he nominated last year? Nipsey's album was nominated last year already. How is this still, from, from that pool, the song in here again. I don't get this is this is, get out of hand. This is a joke. Honestly, the Grammy like this is one of the worst lists I've seen. Uh, actually, especially on rap. I uh, the the like the first nominations were okay. -ish. I mean, it was tolerable, uh, tolerable, but uh, best rap. <sighs> let, let me pull up the phone. Let me pull up the phone. Let me let's get down to business hold on let me actually get name you good rap songs of the year okay i'm gonna <laughs> again <laughs> name boy bye by brockhampton a lot by 21 savage earthquake by tyler the queer career 
Um, let's see here. Schoolboy Q, Num Num Juice. God damn it. Do you know even that song? Like, I, do you even know that song? I don't understand. Like, uh, Danny Brown. Oh, okay, Danny Brown uh, was later in the year. Money in the Grave, at least. I mean, at least. Or, at least, I don't know, Three Nights by Dominic Fike. Even though it's a, not a rap song, but it's a popular song. It is a good song. Why wouldn't you give to Dominic Fike? Some shine, I don't understand, like, what, what is happening with this industry? I'm trying to understand what is happening with this industry. How could Cloud be here? But, I mean, Cloud, okay, it's, it is a fine song, but damn, like, Grammy, Grammy-worthy song? Down Bad, Shook by the Baby? Just because the Baby, like, this is the work of like this is industry plan the baby like don't forget the fact that that baby is an industry plan and the record like the music industry is just trying to push this guy every publication is just praising him oh like, this is his year this is like the baby like the biggest one of the biggest new stars and like they just created this buzz out of nowhere from an average guy from an average guy the baby, I I like the flow, but damn, like he he's not versatile at all. Uh, his songs are not that good anyway. Uh, if we are, where's Playboy Cardi Dialit then? Why didn't you include Dialit then, Playboy Cardi? Even though I don't like this album, why wouldn't you give some praise to Playboy Cardi or uh, you know artists like Lil Pump even? Like if you're if you're including the baby, you were not including Lil Pump or Playboy Cardi or Ugly God, or Ski Mask, or artists like that, you were not including him there. Not 21, 21 Savage is killing the game, and he's still not getting any praise by Grammys. Not last year, not this year. Okay, best rap song performance. Okay, this, okay, this is at least tolerable, a little bit more, just a little bit, because Panini is here, Drip Too Hard, yes, Lil Baby Gunna, Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. This is a good song. This is a good song. Higher, fine, just because of Nipsey Hussle, uh, you know. Uh, we all know what happened to him. Um, you know, they're trying to just get him, give him some um, shine um, to his name. Uh, Ballin by Mustard. DJ Mustard, okay. Why not Pure Water then? <laughs> Pure Water was much popular. But it's not, a, this, Ballin is not a bad song, actually. Uh, the London, okay, I'm just okay with this song. Uh, not really, don't really enjoy this song to be honest. Best rap song, <sighs> Chancellor Bennett. Chancellor Bennett, just a fucking rap. <laughs> Chance, the rapper, the guy who had the worst album of the year. <laughs> Not my opinion though, but public's opinion. Worst album of the year. Chance, the rappers, Big Day, and Bad Idea is nominated. Chance, the rapper, and YBN Cordy. YBN Cordy, I appreciate him a lot. Sorry, I was very emotional on this video, so I uh, actually confused uh, Bad Idea. Uh, Bad Idea is a song from YBN Corday's album, not from Chance the Rapper's album. From the big day, nothing appeared on the Grammy, which is good, which is at least something. But this Grammy is a fucking disgrace! <laughs> on the rap albums and what are they doing? There's no Rich Brian on this list! Another mad, <laughs> no Rich Brian. <laughs> the dude had a great album and no Rich Brian on the list. Fuck. Where is the sailor? Where is my sailor in my life? <laughs> Where is he? No Rich Brian, no Brockhampton, no artists like that at all. Why are you pushing the, the industry plants or the artists that were already established well? Not YBN Cordy even. I mean, yes, is a feature. YBN Cordy's album was good too. Why not include his album? Uh, we'll get to best albums, by the way. Uh, let's, let's see. 
but Gold Roses, okay, fine, finally, Drake and Rick Ross, good song, Gold Roses, a lot, finally, 21 Savage album was really good, really, really good, uh, I am the greater than I was, uh, Rex in the Middle, uh, it's um, Nipsey's song, right, I think, yeah, Nipsey's song, uh, and Shoot But The Baby, I, I can't stand that song. <laughs> Honestly, why? I mean, okay, I'm not. I, I can't stand that song, but I don't really like the song. I love Bob by the Bo uh, the baby. Bob by the baby. Bob's, but not Shook. Um, this list, bro. This list. Make Mill Championships is in here. Okay, okay. Eagles on here. By Tyler Creator. Why not a single song from Tyler's album on the best rap song? Ah, ooh, not best rap performance. Not. And I am greater than I was, though. Here, at least, Igor isn't here. Championships, fine. Good album. Good album. Uh, Revenge of the Dreamers three. And come on. Uh, yes, some good songs for sure. Uh, Costa Rica. Why Costa Rica is not nominated? Down bad. Down bad is a good song though. But I mean, Costa Rica was better for me. Um, Lost Boy, YB, YB and Corday, good. Oh shit, hold on, <laughs> I was just complaining that YB and Corday didn't get a shine, he did get a shine, Lost Boy, okay, okay. I mean, 4 out of 5, and even Re Revenge of the Dreamers, I'm not that mad about it, but it is a placeholder though, for sure, because it's not gonna win, but, I mean, at least Tyler, he seems like a favorite, and it's finally time for Tyler to win an album. <laughs> that would be actually really dope to see Tyler on a stage of Grammys and receiving actually a decent uh, Grammy. But this best Latin rock, urban or alternative album, Bad Bunny's album was cool. Oasis was cool too. Uh, El Malquerer should win though. <laughs> for sure. El Malquerer by Rosalia. <laughs> like there's no, not a question about that. Oh shit, music for visual media. Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Rocket Man, Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. Okay, how start? <laughs> fuck, fuck. <laughs> Two years in a row. <laughs> how? They already got their shine last year. What is happening? Avengers Endgame is in here too, but our best score soundtrack. Completely deserves. Game of Thrones is here too. Mary Poppins, Chernobyl, uh, some good actually uh, soundtracks is over here. I would love. I mean, I'm a big Quentin Tarantino's fan, so I would love Once Upon a Time in Hollywood to win. Uh, but I wouldn't be mad if Rocket Man won, because I mean, that was a really good shot by Tyron Egerton. He was outstanding, uh, and you know, for if we're talking about Oscar nominations, you know, it could be. A potential. I mean, maybe I'm reaching there a little bit, but Tyron Egerton's performance was really good. Um, but I mean, of course, we know that for now, favorite is. Um, yeah, we're gonna conclude this list. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, hit the like button. Again, it was really long. I'm sorry for that, but um, uh, we at least at least we had fun. I think uh, discussing about our artists. Let me know in the comments what you wanted to see uh, as a Grammy, Grammy nominations. I, ha I have a bitter taste in my mouth right now, to be honest, because uh, I remember last year being happy, but this year, mixed back, really mixed back, especially on the rap, on the rap side of things. Uh, I feel like they didn't know, <laughs> like, just, I mean, call Sean C, call Miami, call Anthony Fantano, Call Dylan Jackson TV, call uh, CDTV Productions the G, call Lyle Hansen, call me, <laughs> call these people, <laughs> and we're gonna talk about rap, and we're gonna pick actually worthy choices. We're gonna do that, but no, like probably like 50 year old guys are trying to pick favorite songs, like or popular songs, whatever. Well, at least YBN Corday, I mean isn't here which is good which is really good at least something uh, interesting but um brockhampton kicking their ass off for a while now for three years and dropping five great albums and it's still not enough to be at least in one nomination uh, this list. You know, that's life 
Uh, thank you so much for watching again.